permutation and combinations. There's an easier way to do permit permutations besides the formula. And the real simple way is 5p3 basically is saying you start with 5 factorial, 1, you start with 5 factorial, but you only want the first 3. Now, again, 5 factorial, if you didn't realize, 5 factorial would be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. It means start with 5, but work your way all the way down to 1 and multiply them. Well, 5p3 is simply start with the 5 factorial and go three terms down. That's it. It's very simple if you just think of permutations as this. Another way of thinking it logistically is um, you have 5 to choose from and you want the first three. So for the first event, you have 5 to choose from. The second event, you have 4 to choose from. The third event, you have 3 to choose from. And when I multiply all of that, you get 20 times 3, you get 60. Now, the way I remember 5c3, well, I think of 5c3 as 5p3 divided by 3 factorial. So I take this, but put a p, and then this number, I put factorial on the bottom. And when you look at that, what you realize is, oh, 5p3, we just did right there. That's 5 times 4 times 3. And on the bottom, 3 factorial, according to factorials, you start with this number, work all the way to 1. So it would be 3 times 2 times 1. And then if you can cancel some, when what you notice is the 3 and the 3 cancel. And the 2 cancel with the 4, leaving you 2. So you end up with 5 times 2, which is 10, over 1, which in the end, my answer is 10. So this is a lot easier way of doing a combination if you think of it as a permutation with 3 factorial or this number factorial divided out and then spread it out and cancel, you get a real quick answer. It's a lot easier than the formula. This one, you just think of 5p3 as start with 5, go three terms down, multiply it all out, and that's your number. It's real simple.